Hi, in this video we will solve some examples of finding absolute max mean or extreme values of a function on a given interval. There are several functions, each one on some interval. So here, remember that we have to first find critical points in the interval. So for this one, uh, well, this is polynomial, so we have to find the derivative and uh, set it equal to zero. So that means that six x uh, minus three x plus two equal to zero. And well, that means that either x is equal to three or x is equal to negative two. But remember that we are only um, interested in critical points in the interval. This guy is not on the interval that we are studying. So this, we just ignore it. That's the first thing, find the uh, value of the function. So now value of the function at the critical points here, we have only three. So f at three will be um, two times three cube minus three times three squared minus 36 times three plus 20. And this is 54 minus 27 minus 114 plus 20, which gives us negative 67. And also the end points, yes. Here we have two end points, zero. So the value of the function at zero is, is going to be just 20. And f at 4, uh, okay, so 2 times 4 to the power 3 minus 3 times 4 squared minus 36 times uh, 4 plus 20. This gives us uh, 128 minus 48 minus 144, which is equal to negative 44. So these are the values. Now we have to compare these guys. So they're comparing the values. The highest value out of these three. Well, uh, you see that 20 is the greatest value. So the, uh, in the values, we find that the, um, the absolute maximum value of f on 0, 4 is 20 and uh, its absolute mean value is, well, which one is less? So this is um, a smaller one. So this is, is negative 67 that's absolute max uh, this is absolute mean okay and while well, we know that this guy happens at zero the other one happens at uh, at a three okay let's do another example this one first critical points or critical numbers So find the derivative, we actually did already find the derivative of this guy in, in one of the um, uh, videos. So this is 1, 3, root 3x squared plus uh, the, the third uh, root of x, which, uh, well, x plus 1 is in the numerator of the first one, sorry. So this is x plus 1. And when you do work the rest to get this over 3x squared. From here, when you set equal to 0, you get a 4x plus 1 equal to 0, which is x equal to negative 1 over 4. Also, note that 
if prime at x equal to 0 is not defined, so that means that that is another critical number. So that means that x equal to 0 is another critical number. And both of them are in the interval negative 1, 1, yes? So we have to consider both of them. So then find the values of the function at this point. Uh, if at uh, 0 is equal to 0. If at negative 1 over 4 is the third root of negative 1 over 4 times negative 1 over 4 plus 1 which gives us three over, negative 3 over 4 to the power 4 over 3. And then two endpoints we have, yes? So the endpoint x equal to negative 1 from the f of negative 1 is going to be 0. And f at a 1 uh, is going to be 1 times uh, 1 plus 1, which is 2. These are end points. Those are the critical points. Value of these guys we have now compared to value, compare the values, the values. And you see that the highest value we have is two and the lowest value is this. So this is absolute max value of F on negative one one is uh is two um an absolute mean value of f on negative one one is this negative number which is uh negative three over the third root of 4 to the power, okay, this number.